Hello everyone. Welcome to new video of White Out Survival. Today for the first time I have come with the real voice. How are you all? First time I am making a video with real voice. I generally use the TTS text to speech. But for the first time I am making a video with the real voice because today's video is a little complex. I will I will talk something serious on today's topic. I have some serious discussion. So let's start the video uh, why i am making this video i will uh, create some parts of this video or i can i can make only one part that is that is not decided yet the main thing i want to say about the free to play or pay to win environment and our mistake or other people mistake mainly i will talk about the pay to win environment right why i am making this video from last some days I am scrolling the I, from last some days I am checking the Facebook post of Whiteout Survival. I was scrolling. Yes, I, I am active in Discord, but I also scroll the Facebook post of Whiteout Survival, and I found uh, some people are making some complaints against the Whiteout Survival. They are saying the game is pay to win. They are spending a lot of money for the game, but no result is coming like they are spending a lot of money but their power is not increasing that much and some people are extremely powerful in the game they are dominating the game mainly they are blaming white out survival that white out survival is taking everyone's money white out survival is sucking everyone's money they are trying to say like this on this regard i am making this video i want to talk something on this i want to say why the game is pay to win or why the game is not pay to win so let's start. First thing first, Whiteout Survival is not actually a pay to win game. Pay to win means uh, where uh, you have to spend, uh, where you have to spend or you cannot progress in the game. Whiteout Survival is not like that. You can spend, you, you may spend, you may not spend, that is your choice. If you don't spend, you can still make your progress in the game. There are some FPS game, first person shooting game where you need to purchase good guns. If you do not purchase those guns, you cannot you cannot play the game well. Whiteout survival is not like that. But whiteout survival takes our money. So on, on that regard I want to say something. It is not actually a pay to win game. You can play the game without paying. So the question is why whiteout survival takes our money, right? Why whiteout survival takes our money? Now listen, you are a person, you have family, right? Whiteout Survival is a company. Many people work there. Whiteout Survival has hired the developers, they have hired the programmers and many other things. They have hired the designers and other people. Many employees work there in Whiteout Survival and they get salary. So uh, they get salary and uh, they are feeding their family. You also have your family, so you can understand this. Many people work there in Whiteout Survival, it is their job. And Whiteout Survival is a company, so it always try to earn profit, it always try to earn money. So they need some source to earn money, that's why they are taking the money. Now there are several ways a game can earn money. How the game can earn money? There are mainly two ways, one the main thing, I mean the first thing which most games do is the ad many game runs some ad in their game like you play one match you play two match and after that you watch 30 seconds 40 seconds ad and by doing this in the game earns some money you play one two match after that you watch 30 seconds ad and by doing this uh, the game earn money and uh, another thing is game sometimes sell their products products or you can say the microtransaction. Whiteout survival do the second way because the first thing the first way is not very good it is very annoying like you play one or two match after that you watch 30 seconds ad again you play one two match and this thing is very annoying disturbing whiteout survival do not want to make this game annoying that's why they use the second method they put uh, the microtransaction like they sell their products and by doing this they earn money uh, the game is itself is a company many people work there and they want their salary that's why 
white out survival is selling their products and by doing this they are earning money so there is nothing wrong in this if you are uh, running any business if you are running any company you can understand this you need to earn profit if you are doing anything you want to earn money you want to earn profit and white out survival is doing exactly the same thing that's why they are taking money from us right so nothing wrong here but we are doing something wrong we are uh, doing something wrong the question is why we are spending money on fight or survival we can play this game without paying anything look at this look at my power uh, 147 million power and i have made this power without spending anything of course it takes huge time i am playing from nearly one year and yes if you do not pay in this game your progress will be slow that is true that is of course true but this game is not pay to win pay to win means you can play this game without spending and after a some time if you are free to play you will be you can be stronger than a pay to win player look at this i am i am playing in the frostfire mine or foundry battle and if anyone is spending huge amount of money he cannot defeat me easily after a some time after a certain time free to play players can be can be more stronger than the pay to win players so you need to keep patience the mistake is being done from our side why we are spending money on this game we should not spend money on this game right so i told about this how the game earn money and why the game earn money and the mistake is also coming from our side we can play the game without paying if anyone is spending uh, let him spend but we should not spend like this so now the question is why we should not spend in this game why we should not spend in this game the game is not uh, our asset i think you know what is the asset the game is not our asset uh, we will not get any benefit by spending in this game right uh, it, it is not building our asset it is not our property uh, maximum thing you can do is you can sell your account you can sell your account and you can get some money that is the maximum thing you can do but that process is also a risky process you can be trapped by any scammer and they can loot your money otherwise the game is not creating any asset for you what you can do uh, with this money what is the best use of this money you can invest in some good place you can uh, wait uh, i am not uh, i am not promoting anything this video is not sponsored from anywhere i am just giving you some suggestion right uh, you can invest in stock you can invest in crypto you can invest in gold or any other place where you can get high return and you are using the money in good place if you do this you can also use uh, you can also use the money to purchase any real life gadget which is useful for you uh, like giving you example i am from india and india india is in north hemisphere of the globe so india is very warm country you know in summer time the temperature rises up to 40 to 50 degrees celsius so we need the air conditioner air cooler in our room that's why we can purchase the air conditioner air cooler that is a good use of money and if you are a gamer if you love to play games you can save your money and you can purchase a gaming pc that is also a good use of money but what you will do by spending money in this game you uh, look at this custom paid chest troops training pack fire crystal value pack what is the benefit of spending money on this there is no benefit but there are some games uh, i am giving you example the, if you heard uh, about the steam or epic games take the example of gta 6 you can purchase the gta 6 and you can play the game that is entertainment that is another thing that is one time investment you can use your money to purchase any game that is a good use of money but if you use your money to do this micro transaction in the game that is not any good use of your money you are wasting your your money and if you think you will be very weak if you do not spend money that is not true uh, take my example i am not spending anything in this game but i am i am quite strong i am not saying i am very powerful but i am quite strong i am decent strong i am not spending any money on this game so you do not need to spend your money on this game there are many better use of this money like i said you can invest in stock crypto or any other good place right so that is the thing i wanted to say in this video stop wasting your money and stop spending your money in this game 
it will not give you any kind of benefit you should use your money in only that place where you can get some return where you can get some benefit but there are some players look at this there are some players who are spending excess amount of money in this game look at this power 2 billion 2 billion 1.7 billion are you joking 2, 2 billion can you imagine this this player has uh, spent more than 30k or 40k dollar i have no idea mm, they have spent a huge amount of money what is the use of uh, wasting this amount of money you should not waste your money like this right you should not waste your money like this look at this player i am not insulting anyone but look at this 2 billion what is the benefit of doing this and here i want to say something there are some youtubers who are spending extreme amount of money in this game and i do not want to insult anyone but the thing is uh, audience always try to copy the youtuber that is the true audience always try to copy the youtuber if any youtuber is spending extreme amount of money it will create impact on their audience the youtubers never promote like this spend money spend money spend money they never say like this but they those youtubers uh, create their video in such a way they represent themselves such a way that yeah, you think they are promoting the pay to win environment and uh, that is not very good thing i cannot accept that thing this thing makes me upset they are spending extreme amount of money and they are making their videos such a way that their their viewers are thinking that it is cool it is very good to waste your money in this game which is actually not right and of course youtubers can create uh, positive or negative impact to the viewers and viewers always try to copy their youtuber if any youtuber is spending on something the viewers will also spend on the same thing that is the thing i i i'm not agree with those youtubers i have no idea if they are getting any kind of sponsorship or what but i, I do not want to mention those youtubers name but uh, they are spending excess amount of money and that is not any good thing right that is not any good thing so if you ask me how to increase power as free to play i have already discussed this thing many times so in this video i will tell it in brief in this video my main topic is why you should not spend your money uh, i told that but if you ask me how to increase your power without spending money i have already told this in other guides here i will tell in brief the first thing is okay let's do let's tell point wise the first thing you can join any alliance which is very strong which is in top alliance uh, in every server the top 10 alliance try to create the nap non aggression pact nap non aggression pact by doing this nap they those alliances do not attack each other if you stay in those alliances top 10 or top 20 generally it is top 10 if you stay in those alliances you can be safe you will not get attacked from anyone you will be safe your resource will be safe your troops will be safe that is uh, that is you can do or or you can also um, get benefit from the bear hunt if the alliance is active you will get benefit from the bear hunt that is the first thing you can join any strong alliance the next thing you should always upgrade your building as soon as your one building upgrade ends you can start the next upgrade do not waste time on this that is the thing here that is the catch here if you do not want to spend your money you have to give time that is the main thing you, you can do as free to play and join a strong alliance upgrade the building and the main thing is research how to do the research first complete the growth part next go for the economy and last go for the battle and when you are doing the growth part first you can do the tool enhancement because it can increase the research speed if your research speed is fast your other research will be completed quickly so first do this tool enhancement after that go for tooling up which can increase the construction speed after that go for trainer tool and by doing this you can complete the growth after that you can go for economy and last you can go for battle and when you are doing the battle always try to upgrade the infantry next uh, marksman and last lancer first infantry next marksman and last lancer this is how you can complete the research you can do the arena battle regularly now arena is little bit hard for free to play players but i suggest 
to use proper lineup so you can at least get some arena coins and using the, using the arena coins you can buy the mythic gear that is good for you uh, the next thing is vip you can upgrade your vip slowly if you are spending you will quickly make uh, vip 12 but that does not make any sense it will take huge amount of money and i never tell you to waste your money on this game you can slowly upgrade your vip and vip 7 8 that is enough vip 8 9 that is enough you do not need to reach vip 12 vip 7 8 that is enough just slowly upgrade the vip okay and do not waste your gems for the vip i have told this many times never use your gems for the vip always save your gems and use them in lucky wheel lucky wheel is a good use of gems there are also many other places for uh, gems and lucky wheel is one of them i have told this many times always spend your gems on lucky wheel so i told about uh, research arena vip gems and next thing is you should actively participate in any kind of event if any event is going on you should actively participate in this you can save your shards or speed up and you can use them when any big event is going on i always tell this always save your items eh? always save items and use them when any big event is going on so you can easily rank top in leaderboard and you can get lots of reward some events cannot be completed by free to play players look at the symphony of change look here purchase one pack that contains 2500 or more gems i cannot complete this part because this one is for only pay to win players so i cannot complete this event but you do not need to complete this event just complete the other task complete the other task that will be fine for you and next suggestion i can say use the shop properly the shop is very good source of items you can use the shop properly right you can use the shop properly and the last thing not last there are many suggestions i have already told i have already discussed them in previous guide here i am just giving you some brief discussion the next thing is the next thing which you do is you, you should always train your troops you can always train your troops and always try to um, upgrade the old troops always try to upgrade the old low level troops try to promote them after that you can go for the new troops right you, you, you should do that and always try to save your troops because your city will be safe if your defense is very strong do not try to attack anyone i always say this never engage yourself in any kind of war always try to keep peace never attack anyone and never try to loot anyone always try to keep peace in your state and with other people always try to keep the good relation if you have lots of troops your city will be extremely powerful in defense and even pay to win players cannot do anything if your defense is very good and if your heroes line up and everything is very good yeah, pay to win players cannot do anything that's what i wanted to say in this video so what i said in this video um, fight out survival is not actually a pay to win game it is your choice you can spend money or you, you you may spend money you may not spend money but your your progress will be little slow if you are not spending money but it is not necessary to spend your money i never suggest you to waste your money and the next thing i told you why white out survival takes money from us and why we should would not give money to white out survival i mean why we should not waste our money because we have many other things where we can use the money we have many real life application where we can use our money so never use your money on this game right but it is your choice if you are extremely rich you can do anything but my suggestion is do not waste your money so that is what i wanted to say in this video and this is my first video with my own voice okay so that is all for this video to watch more subscribe